welcome back, or hello if you're new. My name is Kat from My Vegan Experiment, and today I wanted to talk to you about the plastic bag ban. So I have lived in Australia for about five years, and I was always shocked that they still use plastic bags in the supermarket. They were free, and people would triple, quadruple bag milk and things like that, and come home every time with at least 15 uh, plastic bags. Coming from France and living in France for many years, I don't remember when plastic bags were still free or given out in supermarkets. We have always brought our big canvas bags for a long time. So when uh, the plastic bag ban was announced in um, Queensland, I was so excited. So many countries around the world are now seeing the importance of banning single-use plastics. Uh, Seattle has just banned uh, them yesterday, I think. Uh, France is banning all um, cutlery, takeaway containers, the whole world is slowly banning straws, bags, hopefully eventually plastic bottles as well. Uh, it is Plastic Free July now, which is an excellent time to talk about all these things. Uh, if you want, feel free to join the Facebook group Ocean Pancake, where we talk about all things sustainability, conservation, especially in terms of the marine side and what we can do to help the earth. But anyway, what I've been shocked to hear, and my mother sent me this from a Czech newspaper, so Czech newspapers are reporting on what is happening in Australia. People are getting abused, and I mean the cashiers, the people working in Woolworths and in the shops, are getting abused by the people of Australia for not getting free plastic bags anymore. So this is a country which has some of the most incredible biodiversity in the world, which has the Great Barrier Reef, and which has a lot of its natural resources being sold off. Don't know if you guys have heard about it, but the Great Australian Bite is being sold off to big oil, where um, a spill will happen because the seas are very rough, and uh, just like the Gulf of Mexico situation, deep, deep uh, oil drilling is basically, you know, an accident? I'd like to say an accident waiting to happen, but it's not an accident, is it? We're drilling to somewhere where we shouldn't. Anyway, so that's happening in Australia. By the way, please go and vote against that if you have the chance. I've left the link down below. There's so many environmental issues. But anyway, so this is Australia, which, you know, is a educated, um, developed country which has the opportunity to really make a change and to lead by example and cashiers are being abused in supermarkets the article i read from the czech newspaper actually said that a customer grabbed a cashier under his neck so like grabbed them uh, because he wasn't getting a free plastic bag i mean people are raging yelling abuse getting physical all because they no longer have the option of plastic bags. Now, what can evoke such a strong reaction is convenience, just the convenience of going to the shop and being able to take your stuff home in a plastic bag, that important to us as human beings. Is change that scary or the necessary concept of having foresight of actually bringing a different bag to the shop? How is this you know what we're dealing with right now. We're dealing with an enormous plastic crisis worldwide. Um, shout out to, you know, plastic is the killer. Killing a hundred million animals, marine animals, uh, a year are getting affected by plastic. They're ingesting it into their bodies. They, it's being found in the guts. Whales are being found washed up on beaches because of it. Turtles are tangled in it. Manta rays are tangled in it. It's, it's, it's an epidemic of plastic. Yet, apparently, majority of the population is just angered because their way of doing things is being changed. Now, while I look at the situation with absolute shock and horror and I I can't imagine, I wish I was there, honestly. I wish I was there in Australia right now to see what's happening. If you guys are in Australia, please let me know down below what have you experienced from this. I'm just watching from afar from Comoros, where I'm on this tiny little isolated island. But 
I think the most important thing is to continue what we have been doing, which is pushing education. Because education is the only way we can reach people and to help people understand that, yeah, it might be a little bit more inconvenient to have to remember to put your plastic bag into your car uh, when you go shopping. However, the the benefits are enormous. You're, you're saving... Um, you're decreasing the demand of one trillion plastic bags being used every year. And I think that's in the US alone. You're decreasing the amount of marine life which is being caught in, uh, in uh, plastic debris. You're decreasing the amount of plastic which is entering our water systems and even bottled water and fish, uh, which then a lot of people eat themselves. Plastic bags are extremely hard to recycle uh, because of the material they, they're made out of. So they're very much single use. Although some places say if you even reuse them twice, um, it does greatly help their environmental impact. But yeah, what do you guys think about this, this terrifying... I just can't believe. I can't believe we've made a step in such a positive direction, yet a lot of people are very much against it. If you're one of those people uh, and if you clicked on this video because you yelled at someone in um, in Woolworths, please don't. First of all, it's not the cashier's fault and secondly, we need this. We need this change to happen worldwide. We need plastic to stop being produced. So stop virgin plastic uh, so we can just recycle and reuse and upcycle what there already exists. There's plenty of it. It is a fantastic material, extremely versatile. I mean, uh, I'm filming on something made out of plastic, but we really can quit single-use plastic. So please join us in that. Save some marine animals. Um, help help protect our planet from this epidemic. By the year 2050, there's going to be more plastic in the ocean than fish per kilogram if it continues the way we're going. So yeah, let's not do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know your thoughts down below or in the Facebook group, Ocean Pancake love chatting to you guys. We share some really good ideas. I've recently started making some infographics so you can check them out. Feel free to share them around. It is July 3rd which is a worldwide plastic single-use plastic bag, bag free day so I thought this was an appropriate video. Just a really quick one uh, to share my thoughts with you and share my terror of the situation. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, make sure to get yourself um, a plastic is the killer t-shirt. It's a great way to start a conversation about the issues plastic is in our world. So you can see it's a, it's a whale filled with trash in it because that's what we're doing to the oceans. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.